sure to join my Discord server for a chance to be in my next mega build battle. Hey, Panda Windows, today we are going to be doing another mega build battle. And if you haven't guessed it yet, today's build battle is going to be Super Mario Nintendo themed bedrooms. Yahoo! We are going to have six people building today, including myself, so seven people in total. We are each going to be given an eight by eight square to off area to build in. As you can see, everyone is already in their character themed outfits except me. So let me change real quick. Let's take a look at the characters everyone has chosen. Annie is representing Mario. Lexi is doing Princess Peach. Cosmic is doing Waluigi. I am, of course, Daisy. Zach is doing Yoshi. Jenny is Toad. And finally, Amelia is doing Luigi. Let's now take a quick look at the rules. You must build a bedroom that represents your chosen character. There is no time limit. Only build inside the given 8x8 space. And most importantly, have fun. I have already given everyone co-owners, so I think we are ready to go. Everyone will be choosing their plots by coloring a square. I am, of course, doing the color orange because Princess Daisy's colors are orange and yellow. Now that everyone has claimed their square, we are ready to go. Ready, set, build! As I said earlier, I'm going to be making a bedroom for Princess Daisy. I feel like she is such an underrated character because a lot more people like Princess Peach better for some reason. I guess maybe she's a little bit more princessy. She was always my favorite character in Mario 2 aside from Yoshi and like Toad. This is going to be the back middle part of my bedroom. And against these windows, I'm going to be placing Daisy's bed. Starting on the bed, I do use a bunch of custom shapes in order to make a fancy backboard because Bloxburg doesn't quite have any like royalty type of bed looks, I guess. So I decided to make my own bed frame using some custom shapes, as I said, and I really like how it turned out. So keep watching. Now I go on to color it orange, of course, because Daisy's colors are like orange, yellow, and type of light blue. And those are the main colors that I use for the rest of the bedroom, but you see that later. Here I am adding pillows onto the bed because a way for a bed to look royalty-like is adding these custom pillows that I absolutely adore. And they add so much detail, not only to the bedroom, but the bed itself. Now for the bed itself, I'm using these blankets in order to make the bed look a little bit more rounded and have a fancier look to it. And then I even add a blanket on top to make it look extra comfy. If you're wondering what I'm doing with these custom shapes and this adjustment tool, I'm going to be making a carpet that looks like a daisy flower with its petals. Now this was a long process because I had to move each of the shapes individually, but I ended up liking how the design added onto the bed and made the bed look more like a centerpiece because of course the bed has to be the best thing in the bedroom. <laughs> I don't know why. When I think of princess, I think of bay window. So I wanted to make my little own seating bay window where Daisy can look out of and admire the view. So that's what I'm doing using these basic shapes. For this build, you're going to be noticing that I used a lot of these small wooden beams just to add some extra details along with adding some of these rods that I used for the handles, an example of these drawers. They add a 3D effect to any plain basic shape and that's why I used it so much for my whole entire build. Because this wall was a little empty, I was like, okay, what else do princesses have in their bedroom? And I'm like, oh, a big closet. So I decided to add in my own touch to the closets in Bloxburg in order to make it look more three-dimensional and also more royalty-like. So I added this closet inside of this wall and then I added two custom shapes to represent like the doors of the closet and the closet actually being open. And then I added some wooden beams, some mirrors and some other things that I thought would fit well with it. Here I am now adding in walls for the bedroom, kind of laying out how I'm going to be adding the rest of the room. I wanted to add in my own bathroom because I felt like this bedroom has to look amazing. So of course I wanted to try and make my bathroom. Here is going to be where the tub is going to go. I'm also of course going to add a toilet, a sink, and you need some counter spaces too. 
Have I mentioned how much I love this adjustment tool? I use it for the whole entire build of this build battle. But I was able to put a decal on the floor to represent a carpet, and it was even a flower perfect for Daisy's theme. Anyways, here you might be questioning, you already have a bedroom and a bathroom, what are you doing now? Well, Princess Daisy deserves a castle too, it's not just Princess Peach. So for the entrance of my bedroom, I am actually creating a castle entrance, kind of with those cylinders that they have around the castle, and it actually makes it look like a castle. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> With custom shapes, I build up the walls of the castle. I also add in the little block cubes that they have on top of the castle to make it actually look like a castle. And then I use some more custom shapes to create the roof of it because instead of using actual walls to make the castle up to the second floor, I cut it halfway so that it would only go up until the custom shape height that I did. I go back into the bedroom on this wall i wanted to add my own vanity desk or just like a makeup jewelry type of mirror for the princess herself princess daisy of course and i do use custom shapes once again because i was being extra with this whole entire build and i wanted to make it as good as possible so custom shapes came to my rescue <laughs> After adding a decal of a mirror onto the desk, I now go onto the bathroom to continue decorating it because I wanted at least one of the rooms of the build completed. So here I am just working on the bathroom, adding in some details, decoration, and whatever else can spice this bathroom up and scream Princess Daisy. For the bathroom here, I even go ahead and add the iconic Super Mario Piranha plant and then I put it inside of an actual Bloxburg plant so it would look like the Piranha plant is coming out of the Bloxburg plant and it worked perfectly. And now I just go ahead and finishing up some last minute decorations into the bathroom. While building, I got the best idea. And when I say best, I'm not even dramatizing it. D do you know Daisy Circle in like Mario Kart? So outside of my build, just because I had a few extra area that I could build inside my 8x8 space, I decided to add in a very tiny Daisy Circuit racetrack. And I even included the iconic statue of Luigi and Daisy dancing because I needed to add that. <laughs> Can you believe I even used custom shapes in order to make my very own lamppost? Like, look at this miniature lamppost. It looks like I didn't even use custom shapes for it. That's how much I loved it. It looks so realistic. Although the racetrack was almost finished, we were missing one thing. The people in the stands. You need a crowd if there's going to be a Super Mario racetrack. So yes, I added little figurines to represent people by using two custom shapes, then coloring the base of the shape into a different color in order to make it look like they're wearing different shirts and this was my crowd of people look how cute they are <laughs> And now I go back into the bedroom, continuing to decorate here. I am adding a custom decal of Daisy's logo, and it's going to be a carpet on the ground. Now those Bloxburg roofs are kind of plain, and a princess deserves the best roof out there. And of course, I had to DIY myself a glass roof for Princess Daisy's bedroom. I made this design myself. It's kind of just like wooden beams of going all over the place and to place it was my worst nightmare because i needed to use the adjustment tool and adjust like every single thing in order to fit well but i did it and here is how it looks for a princess there is only one correct lighting and that is a humongous chandelier dangling from the rooftop so that's what i added for my princess daisy's bedroom and i think it fit the theme perfectly I'm adding other decals and now I'm going to make a moped but with a Princess Daisy themed because Mario Kart is where Daisy appears most in Mario, I believe. I wanted to add in like a, a Super Mario Kart for her but since I didn't want to go through the trouble of building my own Mario Kart with custom shapes, I decided to use an already made Bloxburg moped and then decorate it with some decals. Here I am adding a Daisy flower to the wheel of it and it's going to give it a little customization to Daisy's own character. 
at the edge of the bed, I'm going to be adding one of those fancy types of seats you see in like princess bedrooms. I don't know. I found it on Pinterest, but it's basically just a seat in front of the bed and to give it some decoration to the room and fill up this empty space. This corner of the room specifically was also a little bit dull. So I decided to add in a hanging swing because I feel like a princess would have a swing in her bedroom. I mean, if I was a princess, I would want to swing in my bedroom. So I decorated it to have the daisy type of princess look and here is how it turned out in mario there's also this chomper type of monster and i wanted to recreate it because i don't think anyone else in the build battle had done it so here i am creating it with some custom shapes i even attach it with chains to the box and i was really happy with how it turned out to decorate the entrance of the castle, I had no idea what to add because space was so minimal because it was an entrance. So I needed to decorate the wall somehow. So I guess I added some custom shapes in order to create clouds and like little mountains that you see in Mario. It gave it a lot of decoration, even just for the entrance. And even though it was super simple to do. Now I go back into the bedroom once again, but this time I am creating my very own DIY flower pot nightstand because the normal nightstands did not fit Daisy's theme quite exactly. And I thought this was such a cute idea. Something else I wanted to add was a bookshelf, but I decided to spice it up a bit and added a castle looking bookshelf. So I made it myself using some custom shapes, of course. And then I go ahead adding in some shelves with some wooden beams and planks. And then even for one of the shelves, I decided to put in grass patches and add the daisy flower for Princess Daisy. By adding a flooring to the main entrance, coloring a few walls that I had missed, adding in a roof, some lighting, I was pretty much done with my build. Now it's time for your favorite time of mine. It is tour time.
builds for this mega build battle. Make sure to join my Discord for a chance to be in the next one.